Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I just decided to whip something up in the kitchen right quick. Um, I haven't had breakfast, it's Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there and to all the mothers who have to take on both roles, mother and father. Uh, I hope you all having a wonderful day. Church was awesome today. I do it from home and Honey, word of faith, Bishop Bronner, that man delivered a great sermon. Now, uh, after praising God, let's get back into this. So right here, I have some ribeye, thin ribeye steak that I cut up. I got from that, um, if you go back in the vlog, I'll attach it, uh, a meat order that we did. I got red and yellow bell peppers because they were getting ready to go bad in the refrigerator so I'm gonna do that and I have some mushrooms and I'm going to cut up an onion guys I forgot to put my onion out so I'm gonna also cut up an onion and then I'm going to be using my favorite Tabitha Brown spice some paprika some onion powder and garlic powder as you can see some black pepper I'm going to add a little ginger to this, and I'm going to add um, some special Asian, I think it's a teso sauce, and I'll show you that in a minute. So let me get over here and cut up this onion, and this is the first part. And then I'm going to saute all this on the stove, and I have some low-carb uh, tortilla shells, um, flour tortilla shells that I'm going to just wrap up wrap it up in and have that for lunch today. All right, so I added all the spices and now I'm stirring them up in this uh, bowl. See how we got that mixed in real good. So now what we're gonna do, and I got my onions chopped up, we're gonna just put this in this pan right here. So the pan is already hot. And you can see. And my hands are clean, guys. I shouldn't have to tell you that, but they are clean. You know me. I wash my hands all day long. That's why they always ashy on camera. Because I wash them so much, I forget to moisturize them. So yeah, put all them spices up in there. So I'm gonna let this cook and then I'm gonna start adding in, I'm gonna simmer this in a little bit. I'm gonna add in my um, mushrooms last. So I'm gonna go ahead on and start adding the peppers on top of that. Yeah, I'm putting a lot of peppers and vegetables in here. Next, we're going to add the onions. It's sort of like a pepper steak, but it's not pep uh, uh, just pepper. You know what I mean? It's my own little concoction. I decided not to put the Asian stuff in here because I don't want the Asian flavor. I really just want a good beefy uh, flavor is what I want. So if I want to make a beef quesadilla, it's going to be like a fajita mix, really. And I'm not, but I'm not going to add the fajita uh, stuff to it. I just want the regular natural flavors in here. Okay, so the mushrooms is gonna go in last. So I'm gonna put a lid on this and let that cook down, cook until it's nice and tender. So once again, what I put in there was a tablespoon of minced garlic, black pepper, onion powder, paprika, ginger, 
garlic powder, sunshine seasoning, and my Bragg's liquid amino's because it's low salt. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, oh, and the green that you see in there, let me take this off. That is fresh basil from the garden. That's what I put in there. I went out there and cut up a handful of fresh basil. Okay, everybody, I just added the mushrooms and I'm gonna let it simmer with the lid off for a little bit. It's cooking just great and the taste is, mwah, it tastes so good. Don't need anything else added to it. So we're just gonna let it cook down a little more. The meat is tender and good, but not too tender to where it can't cook a little longer. So that's why I put the mushrooms in last. All righty. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick cooking tutorial. I may come back and show you. Well, I will. I'll come back and show you what it's like once I plate it up. Talk to you later. All righty, everybody. So my beef and mushrooms, bell peppers and onions is all done. I'm going to put it, because I'm trying to do low carb, I'm going to put it on these uh, low carb, carb counter lean tortillas, these flour tortillas. These are the small ones. They are only 35 calories each for one tortilla. I thought they were 50. These is even lower. I get these at Sam's Club. I also get this Ola Mexican Foods Melting Cheese. When I tell you this is the best cheese for quesadillas, burritos, tacos, like they say for anything. It's 100 calories for an ounce, um, and it's only one gram of carb. So I'm going to put this on here, my meat on here, top it with some cheese and a little green onions, and that's it. So give me a second, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and there you have it. Oh, see, I told you my hands is all ashy because I'm always washing them and I'm in the kitchen and I done been in the water, washed my hands about three or four times. Now, when I tell you this is delicious, let me take a bite and I'll tell you. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. It don't need nothing. It is so good. No sauce, no nothing. This is perfect, just the way it is. I topped it off. I can add a little more green onions on there since I have some left. So, as always, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog from Belita's World and family. Oops, excuse me. It's so good. Please, come on back. Hit that thumbs up button so you can be notified. So, sorry. Let's start this all over. Bam, thank you for coming back. I hope you continue to uh, follow me and share my vlogs. I really appreciate you. And if this is your first time visiting, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video and hit the subscribe button. This is Belita's World. And as I always say, peace, love, and happiness is the only way to live. Bye for now.